KRCG 13 Storm Vision Forecast with Zach Evans. We have more showers and storms making their way through mid-Missouri on this Tuesday morning. Some good news is we're not going to be seeing anything severe and the rain should gradually end as we move into the afternoon hours, if not even sooner than that. Heaviest of those rain showers are near I-44, where we do have flash flood warnings in effect for portions of Phelps and Pulaski counties. So do be careful if you live down that way. Again, never attempt to drive through any standing water. Clouds if you're not seeing any rain and just casual showers scattered about the rest of the viewing area. Our rainfall total since midnight, over half an inch for the folks at the lake. Jefferson City just went offline. They were right around two-tenths of an inch. Same for Columbia. Well, it's half an inch right on the dot. The folks in Rolla. Temperatures there in the 60s and the 70s, and that's pretty much where we're going to stay all day because we have a cold front moving in from the northwest, which we'll see as we take a look across the region. Low pressures in control to our northeast. There is a look at that low if it wants to pop up. There we go. Cold front about halfway through the state, and that will continue to push towards the south. It's going to take the rain with it. We switch it over to the hour-by-hour hour forecast. We see the rain ends as we move into the second half of the day. We're left with cloudy skies. That front is then going to stall, which means rain chances stick around. They'll be back later tonight as we head into the overnight hours. Low pressure moves from the southwest to the east and northeast. Bring another round of rain for the first half of Wednesday. A few spotty showers as we head into Wednesday evening. Then we get one final push of some scattered storms on Thursday. And then we get some dry days. Well-deserved dry days at that. Storms this morning, mostly cloudy otherwise. 73 is going to be our high, and that will likely come during the morning hours. Tonight, falling into the 60s at 62. Storms are back. Clouds if you're dry. Here's the seven-day forecast. Pretty much the exact same story for tomorrow at 73 with storms. Scattered activity on Thursday as we return to the 80s. It's hot and humid as we head into the weekend, but at least we're rain-free. Highs are in the 90s each day, peaking at 92 on Sunday.